What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for the Nintendo Switch. In today's video, we are getting started a little early, about a month early, on Regulation D. Today we are hopping onto the casual ladder with an Urshifu team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, guys, if you want to support me a little bit extra, consider becoming a member by hitting the join button. And if the join button's not there, I got a link down in the description below to become a member. But like I said, Regulation D is going to change everything in the competitive scene. So many strong and broken Pokemon are coming onto the scene, such as Urshifu, Tornadus on that support side, you got Heatran, you got Reggie Draco, who are all on this team. Speaking of Regulation D, I'm also looking for rental codes to showcase on my channel right now. I'm looking for Greninja teams, Charizard teams, um, all different cool Pokemon teams. So if you guys have Regulation D teams, send them in the comment section down below. DM me on Twitter, however you guys want to get to me. Members do get priority. So again, I'm looking for Regulation D teams to showcase on this channel. So if you guys have them, get them over to me as soon as possible. But with all that out the way, we can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with Tornadus. And Tornadus is going to be insane in Regulation D. It's got Prankster, it has Wide Lens, it's Rocking Icy Wind, Bleak Wind Storm, then we got Taunt, and we have Tail. So we got another Prankster Tailwind Pokemon. The last one before this was really only Murkrow. So having Tornadus in here, a much more powerful Pokemon, I doubt we'll ever see Murkrow ever again. Reggie Draco is going to be our second Pokemon, and pairing that up with Tornadus' Tailwind, this thing can KO pretty much anybody. It has Dragon Maul and the Dragon Fang, Rocket Protect, Dragon Energy, Draco Meteor, and Terra Blast. In the third slot is going to be Heatran. He's got Flash Fire, he's got the Choice Scarf, and Choice Scarf Heatran is always really, really solid. He has Heat Wave, Terror Blast, Flash Cannon, and Earth Power. Fourth Pokemon is the Pokemon that I believe to be OP in Regulation D. It was super strong in Sword and Shield, but now with Dynamax out the way, Urshifu is really going to shine. He has Unseen Fist, which means he can hit through Protects. He has a Mystic Water as its item, and he's rocking Detect. Surge and Strikes, Close Combat, and Aqua Jet, which is probably the best move set for any Urshifu. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Dragonite. Dragonite is still going to be good in Regulation D. As long as Shen Pao is a usable Pokemon, Dragonite is still going to be good. So, Dragonite's on this team with Inner Focus and Assault Vest, Rocket East Speed, Terror Blast, Iron Head, and Outrage, and then we have Fluttermane in the final slot with Pixie Plate and Protosynthesis, and then pretty standard move set for that. Guys, if you want to try out this team for the casual ladder, we got that rental code up in the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Urshifu Regulation D team. Here we go, hopping into match number one, and we are going up against a crazy strong team full of legendaries. They got Zarude, Hoopa, Charizard, Mewtwo, Garatina, and Greninja. So they have two Pokemon that I really want to showcase for Regulation D. They got Charizard and they got Greninja. Whenever you guys get some teams, again, send them over to me as soon as possible. Greenidge and Charizard are at the top of my list. So if you guys got a team with one of them on it, send them to me. I'd love to do it. But uh, who should I lead and how should I play? I think Tornadus has to come in here. Taking speed is going to be top tier. And honestly, I feel like I can legit wipe the floor with our opponent going into Dragon Energy, Tailwind, with Reggie Draco. I really feel as this could be really broken. But I kind of want to show off Earth Street turn one. So kind of want to lead it. I kind of want to lead it. Let's see your speed. 140. You are so good. You are so good. Taking speed is going to be great. So, you know what? I'm going to go on both of them. I am going to bring Heatran and I'm going to bring Reggie Draco in the back end. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. So, all the Regulation D Pokemon are coming. We're not bringing the old guns. We're not bringing Fluttermane. We're not bringing Dragonite. Dude, Regulation D is going to be so much fun. It really is. I can't, I'm super hyped for it because this one's starting to get so repetitive with Series 3. You're seeing pretty much the same teams. But again, that's going to happen with Regulation D. But for now, it's going to be a lot of fun. They're going to end up leading Hoopa and Greninja. Oh my god, Greninja is so sick. Hoopa's enormous too. That thing is ridiculously big. For no reason. For no reason. But Tailwind's going to come out here from us. Um, I could Terrasilize. I think I'm just going to close combat and try to get rid of Greninja. Correct? Could go into Surgeon Strike. What is your type, Hoopa? Are you just straight... Psychic? I don't verse many Hoopas, right? I don't verse many Hoopas. You're Psychic and Dark. Okay, so close combat would be neutral, I think. I think we're just going to set up that Talon, get the speed, and I think I'm just going to dump on Greninja. I think it's going to be my play. I'm not trying to deal with it. So we pranks her Talon. We double up her speed. Let's get it, Urshfu. Get rid of that thing. Take it out. No problem. No problem. Get on out of here, Greninja. So we take out Greninja one shot. Our defense is down, but our speed is high. So we're hoping Hoopa's not going after me, but if it is, it is. It's no big deal. 
We'll see what they want to do from here. And a side beam is going to come out of here. And yeah, that takes me out. So I'm dead. Dude, Koopa's enormous. I didn't realize how big this Pokemon was. I think he's huge for no reason. And he's got Magician. What does that do? He took my Mystic Water. Okay, that's fine. That is totally fine. Because now I just bring out you. Dragon Energy, Reggie Draco. And I'm thinking of just Rasslize and pretty much win this match, right? This seems to be very OP. Let's see what they bring out. Garatina. No match for my Dragon. Unless you're going to Rasslize. Unless you were going to Rasslize, but it's fine by me. That's fine by me. So from here, we got Bleak Windstorm, which I believe this is uh, Tornadus' signature move. These are attacks with savagely cold winds that causes both body and spirit to tremble. This may lower the, the speed stat of the pose Pokemon. Okay, that's fine. I'm cool with that. So <laughs> from here, oh, it's a double hitting move. I was going to hit them both. I'm going to go into Bleak Windstorm, and I'm just going to rock into a Dragon Energy. Which Dragon Energy is pretty much Eruption, but for a Dragon type. Oh, and I thought you were Dragon, uh... I thought you were Dragon Terror type. It's all good. I was rocking into this. Bleak Windstorm is going to come out here. Garatina does dodge it. And we're going to get off some damage on the Hoopla. I still believe as this Dragon Ball can KO this, or this Dragon Energy can KO the Garatina. So I'm not too worried. Yeah, get it on out of here. Reggie Draco and Regilecki are going to be a problem in Regulation D. But yeah, we get rid of Garatina, we get rid of Hoopa. I'm having so much fun right now. I legit am. But yeah, I feel like for the casual ladder going in, like, these two could legit just, like, start sweeping poke teams pretty easily. So we might not be bringing Reggie Draco in for the next one, using our other Pokemon. But from here, I'm just going to Bleak Windstorm, and I'm just going to Dragon Energy again, and game, set, match. You're going to cancel the battle, or you're going to try to clutch up with Zerud? Probably neither. Probably neither. You're probably going to throw your switch at the wall. <laughs> Dude, I love using new Pokemon. I always love when new seasons come out, man. New sets of Pokemon. And they got so many good ones. I have the list next to me. Like I said, Charizard's on at the top of my list. Well, not Charizard. Greninja's actually at the top of my list. Then Charizard. Then who else do I want? You got the Glaring Bird. You got all the other starters. The Hisuian Pokemon. Hisuian Stamarot. Regular Stamarot. You got Landorus. Just too many Pokemon. But match number one goes to us. Let's hop into our second match. Try to use Urshfu a little bit more. Hopping into our second match, we are going up against an actual Series 3 team. So this team, I actually seen a couple times on the Series 3 ladder, is a Toxapec and Glamora team. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I kind of want to lead Urshfu. Like, Urshfu is just so much fun to use. It's very, very good. So I'm going to go Urshfu. I could take speed with, with my boy. And I'm kind of thinking that because speed is just so important. So I'm going to go into you. I'm going to go into Urshfu. I'm going to bring Heatran. I'm going to bring... Do I bring Reggie Draco or do I bring a Pokemon more so like Fluttermane? I mean, Fluttermane could be good. Um, I'm trying to think of ways to kind of KO Gargonackle because Gargonackle is a little bit of an issue. Um, Fluttermane, you got Shadow Ball, right? You do, but he will take half the Shadow Ball. So Gargonackle is a little bit of a problem. I mean, I have Urshifu to get rid of that later, but for now, I mean, let's just go Reggie Draco in the back end, right? Let's just, let's just do it, you know? We're showcasing new Pokemon, let's bring Reggie Draco. But I want to get Urshfu picking up some KOs. He already slammed on that Greninja turn one, just uh, close combat it. But again, Hoopa just came in with a Psychic and finished this off. Maybe I should Terrasalize into straight water. Could have definitely helped this out, but it's all good. We caught the dub anyway. So he's going to end up leading Ting Lu alongside with Lemura. And from here, we don't really need speed, right? We do not need speed. And I think I'm just going to Terrasalize and go into Surgeon Strikes right into this thing right hit that thing as hard as i can i could icy wind to lower speed if i want to i mean we really don't need speed right now i think i'm just gonna go for a blink wind storm get off as much damage as i possibly can we already we should already outspeed these pokemon so hopefully he's not terrestrializing and my urge can get off some crazy big damage so we're gonna go straight water with him and search and strikes already does a crazy amount of damage it hits three times and each time it crits giving it the stab boost and now the terror boost on top of it Again, this Pokemon's gonna be the real deal. He's a problem. He's a problem. They so blink windstorm, bleak windstorm, and now Surgeon Strike should come out here and probably finish off this Pokemon. And we get a speed drop on Glamora. So now Surgeon Strikes flies. Let's rock it. That's only one. We get two more of those, guaranteed. And what item is that? You got weakness policy? That's wild. But it's kind of sad because you're dead. Because you're dead. Hate to break it to you. Hate to break it to you. There's another crit. Guaranteed every single time. We're going to hit again. See you later, Ting Lu. So Ting Lu getting ripped on in one turn. You don't see that too often. Urshfu is the real deal. 
the real deal. Are you gonna power gem me? Let's see what he ends up doing with a uh, Glamora. You end up power gemming me, which we probably don't eat up, right? Okay, we don't eat up, but that's all good. I don't mind it too much. I wish I would have got some more speed, but from here, I can just rock in Heatran if I want to, right? Heatran's got the Earth Power, he's got the Flash Cannon. Um, we're just gonna go into Flash Cannon and try to get rid of that, and then have Earth Spook clean up the left side. Oh, Heatran comes out here and he's. Oh my god. He looks so slick. Looks so sleek. I love it. The Dunsparce is gonna come out here as well. So I could close combat and get rid of the Dunsparce, hoping he's not gonna Thrasslize. Or I can stick with Surgeon Strikes, but you know, I'm gonna go for the close combat. Screw it. We're gonna go close combat. We are going to throw a nice, lovely uh, Flash Cannon, and cool, he doesn't Thrasslize. So we're gonna say bye bye to you, and Urshfu gonna say bye bye to the Dunsparce. Come on, man. This is too easy. This is too easy. Regulation D is about to be wild. Oh, you actually survived that. You sashed? You're not sash, you're super bulky. You were just a bit too bulky for me. Defense curl, it's a little too late, you're on one HP. I like the idea though, I definitely like the idea, but it's too late. You're going up against top tier Pokemon that are just gonna rip into you. He's gonna throw out his final Pokemon and it is going to be Toxapec. The Toxapec comes out here, um... I think I'm just gonna Aqua Jet you down and then I have to stay with a Flash Cannon. Or I could swap into Reggie Draco, which would probably be my best bet. Just to reset my Choice Scarf. That's fine. Our opponent might even cancel, but I'm going to reset my choice scarf. Make sure we catch this victory, because, come on, man, it's too easy. <laughs> it's too easy. <laughs> just ripping into our opponents at this point. So we swap into Reggie Draco. He's just chilling here. And Aqua Jet's going to fly. I can always trick a Meteor as well. Fire Spoo really showcasing the second match, ripping into our opponents, and how hard it hit Ting Lu. Like, we dominated that Ting Lu. He's going to end up putting him with Toxic on me, and I think we thrive here. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We'll just go for Dragon Energies. We don't even need to swap back into Heatran, but Heatran was kind of a last-ditch effort. It was like, hey, we should swap for Heatran, just so, just in case, you know, something bad happens. But Ghost Combat's going to be not very effective. Dragon's Energy actually does more than Draco Meteor, and he's going to end up to Rasslide. So this could be actually a big mistake. This could be a big mistake, because now Close Combat's probably going to be neutral, or even super effective. And no, he's going to keep it the same. Never mind. He stays with the Toxic. The Poison type. Okay, I feel you. I thought he was changing something different. And he goes for a Baneful Bunker, which is kind of a smart play, but you, you can't outstall me. It's just not happening. I hit through Protects too, which is hilarious. <laughs> he's probably like, what's going on here? <laughs> Hitting through Protects. Sometimes I forget Urshfu does that, so when people protect him, I'm like, oh god, and then Urshfu just rips right through him, which is insanely OP, especially now that Dynamax isn't a thing. That's why I think Urshfu is going to be top tier within this, uh, within Regulation D. You're going to be seeing a lot of them. Same thing with the Reggie Dracos and Reggie Aleckis. But, uh, now we can actually go for Surgeon Strikes. Surgeon Strikes will now be neutral. We go for a Dragon Energy, and this might actually take it out. He hits hard, man. He hits a bit too hard. It's a bit too hard, especially with Water Terror. He's just ripping. And yeah, that's going to be game. Urshfu picking up so many KOs. He might have KO'd everybody and made her opponent quit. <laughs> that is too funny. We're 2-0. Oh. Let's go hop into her third and final match. Grab ourselves a perfect record. Final match coming at you guys. And now we are talking. Regulation D team versus Regulation D team. They got Tornadus just like us. They got Urshfu just like us. And then the Rock and Flutter main, Regilecki, who is insanely strong and then Amoongus and Ting Lu so we got to bring your a game here we definitely got to lead Tornadus of our own Tornadus is we, we we need speed especially if they had Tornadus of their own so I'm gonna go Tornadus I could go Heatran turn one I think Heatran's not too bad I mean terrestrialization with Regilecki could be a problem because flying type might be its thing right and that could be tough so do I lead Heatran I'm kind of leaning towards it or do I lead a Pokemon like Urshfu? Because if they lead Regilecki, which I think they're going to do, it could be a problem. It could definitely be a problem. So I'm going to go Heatran. I am going to go Urshfu in the back end. And I'm going to bring my Reggie Draco. This one should be a very good battle. We're 2-0 already. Hopefully we just get a good battle out of this one. Win or lose, it don't matter. We're showcasing Series 4 Pokemon. You guys want me calling it Regulation D or Series 4? I'm, nah, I'm, I'm on the fence about it. Regulation D is harder to say. But Series 4 sounds a bit better, right? <laughs> it's like, but Regulation D is, I think, is the, the correct statement for this. But he ends up going in with that Regilecki, which is kind of annoying. Um, 
I gotta go in with the Earth Power. We gotta rip into it. So we'll definitely go Tailwind for Tailwind here. I mean, I could actually Icy Wind. But I'm gonna Tailwind just in case this Regilecki wants to come across at me. And I'm just gonna Earth Power into you. That's gonna be my play. We're gonna hope Regilecki doesn't have to Thrash Slice. We're gonna hope both of us just Tailwind. We kinda go from there because I feel like Regilecki should be rocking the Flying Territory, right? And cool, he did not Terrasalize. That's cool for us. He could be Sash as well, which Sash could be a problem. He's gonna pop a Rain Dance, so he just wants to Thunder me. He just wants to Thunder me down. He trans should go first. We're hoping he's not Sash. Chances are he's Sashed. And of course he's Sash. So Sash is gonna come out here. And we're gonna go from there. So he's gonna Thunder. He's gonna take out my Tornadus. We know this is coming. They're gonna Thunder Cage. That's fine. So that's gonna take me out. So I'm cool with that, considering we did some big time damage to Regilecki. Um. From here, I feel as the play would be to go into Urshfu and just Aqua Jet down the, uh, the Regilecki. Or I can stay Earth Power in it. I mean, I think we're going to outspeed Regilecki regardless, right? Even if they do Tailwind. Even if they do Do we outspeed? Because we're Tailwind if they... I don't think we do. So we're going to stay Aqua Jetting this thing. And I'm just going to swap P-Tran back into my Regi Draco. That's gonna be my play. Really need to reset this choice. I really need to reset this choice, but the focus dash on the Reggie is just too big. So I could have maybe read a protect on Regilecki, but I, I feel as he's not gonna protect this Pokemon. Kinda hope not, right? Reggie's a problem. Reggie's a problem. He's gonna be he's top tier. He's S tier in regulation D. I'm saying it now. You guys are gonna be seeing him all over the meta. He's just too fast, hits too hard. He's absolutely amazing. And now with Terror type, he's just so good. So I end up swapping my Heatran. I'm gonna say, hey yo, get back here. We're gonna bring out the Reggie Draco. The Draco comes out here, and Draco is uh, a heavier hitter than Regilecki, but a slower Pokemon. The Aqua Jet's now gonna fly. He still has a Tailwind, which is pretty good for us. And he might just be going for the Hurricane to finish off my Urshifu. No, now he does Tailwind, okay. Okay, that's fine. So I have Reggie Draco at full health. Um, I might terrestrialize my Urshifu. Like in the rain, Surge and Strike's gonna do big time damage, and that's exactly what they're gonna do, because I wanna go after Tingle right here right now. So from here, I'm gonna terrestrialize you. I'm going into Surge and Strikes. I'm trying to deal as much damage as I possibly can. And then from here, do I Draco Meteor or do I Dragon Energy? I think I'm gonna go for Dragon Energy. Look at my HP stat, it's 275. He's got a lot of HP, and this uh, this move's damage is based off of HP, so I feel as we should stay pretty high on this. We have Tailwind for a couple more turns. I'm going to Thrash Slice. We're going to hope that Ting Lu stays typing so I can just KO him. Because Urshifu stabs Surge and Strikes, crit every time, Terrasalization in the rain, and super effective. Should be plenty of damage. And it hits for three. So it's like, come on, man. That's a big time damage. So we Terrasalize, they're also going to Terrasalize, and that's definitely going to be Ting Lu. Maybe a poison Ting Lu. Are you gonna poison up Ting Lu? Let's see what you got cooking. Water. Wow. Wow. A little bit of water action. That's actually big time. The big time terror type. The big time terror type. Let's see how much our Surge Strikes does still. I'm curious. That's still a decent amount of damage for Surge Strikes. That's still a decent amount of damage. So you get the crits. Get off of these mad damage. Reggie, can you go before them? You're not. You're actually gonna go first, and Reggie should still be able to hit decently hard. Dragon energy coming in hot here. And yeah, it's pretty good damage. And oh my god, Tingly went for the Fisher. Chill. Chill on me. Real question is do we think Aqua Jet can KO? I think so. So I'm gonna Aqua Jet you down. Actually, you went before. He went before Tornado, so I'm gonna go there. I'm just gonna Draco Meteor and rip into you. That's my play. That's my play. Because we still have Heatran in the back end, which is such a good Pokemon. Such a good Pokemon. But they still have one other Pokemon of their own. So I'm hoping uh, Draco Meteor can KO it. Probably won't be able to, considering uh, he's so bulky on the special attack inside. But he's gonna withdraw Tornado, and he's gonna go into because I'm Surge and Strike this slot. Fluttermane. So, everybody, wave goodbye. Fluttermane's dead. But it means a goner. No problem, it's a goner. It's a goner. It's a goner. He thought I was going after Ting Lu and then just going for another Dragon Energy, which I mean, that's a pretty solid call, but we changed who we're attacking. And look at that. We KO'd that thing in one shot. 
One shot, no problem. We had two more. We could have KO'd three Flutter Mains with that move. Oh my lord, the damage. Ridiculous. Drake Meter is now going to fly. I, again, I don't think it's going to KO. It comes really close to doing it. <laughs> it comes super close. But yeah, we're, we're thriving here. Stop and catch flies. He's going to almost KO Urshfu. Their Tailwind finally gone. And, oh no, that's my Tailwind. What is just my Tailwind. That is my Tailwind. And from here, I feel as the best play is to just go into an Aqua Jet into you. And then just drag an energy just in case Urshfu doesn't pick up the KO or something. We can still pick up the KO with a Reggie Draco. But they cancel match. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0. We just went 1 0 up against another regulation D team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. What a set of matches. 3 0 for our first video on the casual ladder of regulation d so guys from here on out we're not going to be doing regulation d every single pokemon uh scarlet and violet video but we're going to bounce back and forth whenever i get uh regulation d teams i will be uploading casual ladder up until we hit the rank ladder and then obviously hopping into the rank ladder from there so series three content still going to be here we're going to sprinkle in some regulation d and one last time if you guys have teams for me definitely get on me either comment section down below or uh tweet at me over on twitter Hit me a DM, tweet at me. It does not matter. I'm looking for all types of Regulation D teams because I want to showcase every single Pokemon that is now available to use in this series. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.